Hi, and welcome to another edition of What's Cooking. I'm your host today, Joey Quibodo with Piglet Regal here in Opelousas. And I'm Chef Jason Hugay from the Steamboat Warehouse in Washington, Louisiana. And we want to uh, welcome our uh, first time guest, uh, Samantha from uh, Jambalaya from the Bayou. Um, Samantha, give us a really quick idea of what uh, we're going to be cooking on the show today. It's going to be pan fried catfish with a crawfish cream sauce on top. Very good. Sounds really good. So join us back for more What's Cooking in just a few minutes. Welcome back to the show, everyone. Uh, we're again uh, here again uh, with uh, Samantha from Jambalaya from the Bayou, and we are going to start our catfish dish. Uh, Samantha, how we begin? Okay, we have about two pounds of catfish, and you want to rinse it and pat it dry. I've done that already. Um, we're right. going to start with a stick of butter. I'll take my stick of butter and just put it in here. Let that start it's coming out. Real butter. Another one of Jason's favorites. Everything in Cajun country starts with butter. <laughs> it's true. Every recipe calls for butter. All the good recipes put that way. Yeah. <laughs> no carbs, no fats, no nothing. Yeah. That melts. If it ain't fat and it don't taste good. Though. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so Sam, tell us a little, about, a little bit about Jambalaya on the Bayou. Where it's located, um, and it's located uh, in Eunice. It's the old chatterbox. Some people might know the area from the old chatterbox. Um, it, it's kind of a mixture between your Creole and your Cajun. You have a little flair of New Orleans with the muffaladas, things like that. Um, we have your, your regular, your etouffees in, in jambalaya, our specialty dish, the jambalaya. Um, so you get a little bit of everything, you know, anything you're, you're, you're craving. Mm -hmm. We have specialty pizzas. Um, Oh, so and just all around good menu, menu. Right. yeah, yeah. That's really nice to know. I'm gonna go ahead and add my fourth cup of olive oil. And then I'm gonna take half of my Cajun seasoning. I have about one and a half tablespoons. I'm gonna use half of this in here. Wow, that's the first time I've ever seen that pretty go good. Ahead. Pretty neat. Smells good already when I got nothing in Finish here. mixing. Good and hot. So that's doing I'm gonna go ahead and take my flour and mix the other half of my seasoning in the flour. And I wanna mix that around. And Samantha, what about the uh, operating hours of the restaurant? They are open for lunch and supper, um, Monday through Saturday. And then on Sundays, they're open for lunch, 11 to 2. So it's no Sunday evenings, in other words? No, just for lunch on Sundays. Gotcha. Okay. I'm going to take my fish. Pass it in my flour. I'm going to take off the excess. I'm just going to put it in here. Pretty simple so far for everyone at home to be able to follow. It's a recipe. very mm -hmm. simple recipe. And you, no, no, no batter, no nothing, just the catfish and then the flour. That's it. Just a dredge. All right. Good to you. Thank you. It's a little messy. We do a lot of this with steamboat, like pan frying fish. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and and it's for me, I like it because it's a, a lighter taste. Mm -hmm. um, and you let it cook about eight minutes on each side, depending on you know how you like it, a little bit crispy or yeah. not. Um, mm -hmm. And just kind of check on it, you know, check see when it's it's about golden brown. Um, I'm gonna start on my crawfish sauce. Okay. About a medium round out. Okay. And then I'm going to take another stick of butter. Of course. Some more butter. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Put that in here. Let that start to melt. I just want to kind of watch. So also, um, why are the restaurant? Don't you have a jam session with someone Friday night? We nights? do on Friday nights. Mr. Cos Fontenot comes and does a, a jam session every Friday night. Um, you can have a good 
good meal before and mm -hmm. enjoy a good entertainment at the bar afterwards. And so what time does the gym session start? It, it usually starts um, around about 8 o'clock, somewhere around there. Oh, that's nice. Now also, do you all have like a private dining rooms available for anybody that might be interested in that? We or? do. We do. We have a um, special banquet room uh, if anybody wanted to have, you know, special like Christmas parties, things like that uh, mm -hmm. are held there. Um, just call, get more information. Uh, speaking about that, the phone number they can reach out at? 457-7840. Uh, Sounds good. What would you say your biggest seller is on the menu? Um, probably jambalaya, etouffee. The staple uh, the, the, items? The, yeah. That's uh, some of the... Um, yeah, right, that's what they want. You know. Yeah. yeah. And, and we offer different plate lunches every day. Uh, this is one of the things you'll see on our, uh, our, our lunch menus. Go ahead. Um, lunch and supper we have different uh, menus every day kind of change it up have a little yeah a little different on, on yeah. the specials keep it interesting so this is melting so sam how, how long have you been at the bayou jump out on the bayou um we've been open since october so it's fairly new restaurant oh okay um, we're trying to, I guess, bring back that, that real Cajun cooking. You know, that's our, our objective. Okay. Um, now, where would we find you? In the kitchen? In the kitchen. In the kitchen. Yeah, that's right. In the kitchen cooking. Where the magic happens. That's it. Okay. Now, I want to, um, my onion bottoms. I want to go ahead and add that in here. So that Which most bit. people throw away, mm -hmm. and it's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the most favorite part of that the That is the green best part of it, yeah, it is. You know, you can use the greens for like, you know, garnishing or putting mm -hmm. in a baked potato. Right, yeah. Bottoms, still thrown away, use them. Yeah. I'm going to saute that a little bit. Okay, well while we're sauteing that, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break and uh, go to the commercial. So come back to West Cooking in just a few minutes. Welcome back to the What's Cooking Show. Again, we have Samantha here from Jambalaya from the Bayou in Eunice, and she's cooking up a wonderful pan-fried catfish with a nice crawfish cream sauce. Samantha, where we go from here? Um, I think our fish is about ready to turn over. Smells good. It does. Smells ready to yeah, fit. Yeah. delicious. <coughs> and while Samantha's doing that, I want to remind everybody at home sure. all the ingredients that she's using here today can be found at your local Piggly Wiggly stores here in Opelousas, 8410 Highway 182 North. 1305 Heather Drive. And you just come by either store and pick up your catfish, crawfish, whatever you need. All the Pretty much everything you see here. Recipes, this yep. So, and Why if they want to copy the recipe, where do they go? Uh, you can go to the website, uh, kdcg.com, or you come to me or Joey, <laughs> anywhere warehouse, or the pig, whichever one, Heather uh, Drive. Or, or either one, yeah, it don't matter. Either one. I can pick up the copies of this recipe and all the recipes does here on the show. A bunch of them. I mean, it's growing and growing and or growing. Or YouTube. You can go on YouTube and... Archive, see some archive shows that we have mm -hmm. on there. Well, if you Don't want to make it down to Jambalaya on the Bayou, go to exactly. down to Eunice and look out, look out for some American. She'll be cooking up something good, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Smell some good stuff, I guess. Okay, now I'm ready to go ahead and add my uh, crawfish to my pot for my cream sauce. We have about a pound of crawfish here. I gotta say before you go there, that the, the color and everything on the fillets, Look wonderful. Yes, yeah, beautiful. You couldn't ask for a, a prettier. Uh, I mean, like I said, just scratch it and flower, and that was it. Looks nice. Gotta say that before we move on. So I'm gonna add the crawfish, and we just want to kind of heat it up, get the crawfish hot. Mm -hmm. Stir that around. Mm. Smelling good Smelling in here. Good. Mm -hmm. it's a pretty crawfish still, too. Yeah. Especially now at the peak of the season. It's nice size. Mm -hmm. Look fresh. Check on this. And a little bit longer. So yeah, like I said, I just want to kind of heat my crawfish. 
getting good and hot. Some of the juices bleed out of it. Yeah. Best part. And this this crawfish sauce, it you can use it in so many different ways. You can put it on pasta. I would eat it with French bread. I mean, there's so many yeah. things you can do with this crawfish sauce. It's very very versatile. You put it on anything, chicken, fish, anything you steak. want. <laughs> That's a very simple recipe so far. Very simple. Now, want to follow. Easy for people at home to follow. If you want this recipe? Go where you know where we just explained. Mm -hmm. Find that recipe. That was the first time I ever seen putting seasoning in the, the frying oil. And this I is always helping at the brown. Let me get my um. Go ahead and paper towel. Mm -hmm. Paper towel. Come on. Right over here. There we go. All right. Just like that. Take that off. That grease come off of it. Didn't stick nothing. I mean, can't ask me any better than that. How could you make it come out any better than that? No. <laughs> okay, this Perfect. is heated up. Good. I want to add about a cup of whipping cream to my sauce. And then we're going to let it thicken. How much cream do we use here in Louisiana? Mm, a lot. <laughs> and everything. <laughs> Especially the heavy whipping cream. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to just kind of let it thicken. And on this sauce, if you, if you wanted a thicker sauce, you could always add a little flour and water mixture. I tend to like it to just kind of drip over my fish yeah, instead of just sit on mm -hmm. top. You can always put it underneath and just put your fillets on top. We do that sometimes. Yeah, that's a that nice too. idea too. Like you said, put a little pasta or anything. Any kind of pasta. Like a, yeah. a fettuccine. That mm -hmm. would be. Or very angel hair or. Penne. Penne pasta, which is mm -hmm. that's my favorite pasta. Yeah, I know, that's it, why I said it. Because <laughs> it doesn't get all over your face when you. <laughs> <laughs> Smaller pea, easier yeah, to eat. I don't yeah. know what you're saying. So. Just so while this is still cooking, go ahead and tell us about some of your specials y'all run for lunch, uh, Samantha. Joe, you can turn it down. Um, we have different specials so, every day. We have a lot of um, like your, your your rice and gravies, your um, your, your beef and, and rice and gravy, and, and your sides. Mm -hmm. um, we have on Friday nights is all you can eat catfish, which wow. a lot of people come in for. On Saturday well, nights yeah. they'll have like <laughs> a the ribeye steaks, or we'll have a crab legs or different things like that. Friday and Saturday nights, we have ball crawfish. Mm -hmm. Can come in for that. Um, OK, what don't y'all have? Just tell me that much. <laughs> <laughs> um, not really sure. <laughs> we have, we have a, a very big selection of not only what's on our menu every day, but what's on our specials. Mm -hmm. And there's always something different, always something for everyone. Yeah. You know, and I always said the specials is what, what your regulars, you know, they come in and they eat off the regular menu for mm -hmm. so long. If they're really good customers, then they've been there over the years. And what your specials does is gives them an opportunity every week to have something mm -hmm. other than, not that it's not good anymore, but it's just, they just, it it's gets, a variety it just gets boring yeah. after a while. Every restaurant, you know, like, yeah. I've had my customers tell me that it was just, you know, I've had everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, you know, the specials is what keeps it exciting for them, keeps and them keep interested. And pulling some new ones out. Mm -hmm. And they'll start to, to request some of those specials. You know, when are you going to cook this again? Yeah. When are you going to cook that again? Mm -hmm. You know, like, like this, we had a gentleman that, that had it one day for lunch and, and came in one night and was like, it, are you serving that tonight? I really like that. We just got connected with a company out of uh, Hawaii that we, uh, we ship. It's a two-day shipping, but the way it works, like I ordered it on a Tuesday morning, got it on Thursday. That was neat. They, I saw that on Facebook. They, man, they have a nine-page list of fish and whatever, clams. So we got fresh mako shark this past weekend, which was something we've done before, but it's been forever. Yeah. And just, you know, something different. Different, you know? different, yeah. So. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take a short break again and uh, come back and finish our dish with Samantha. So join us back for more What's Cooking. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Uh, we're here again at the show with uh, Samantha. 
Um, we have uh, pan fried our fillets. They look beautiful, I have to say myself. And um, we are working on our sauce, and I think we got a few minutes left on that. Um, how we stand, Samantha? Just a couple more minutes, letting that sauce thicken. And it's pretty simple, I mean. Yeah. Very simple. Butter, the crawfish seasoning, the onion bottoms, and. What I've always said, uh, the simplest recipes, you know, as far as limiting the ingredients is always, always the best. The best, you're right about that. I've always said that, um, you know. Don't overcomplicate things. Once you start adding all kind of ingredients, you know, there's some recipes I see. Um, they got so many ingredients, and after you taste it, you look at the recipe, you think, wow, I didn't, you know, some of the stuff I don't even know was you, in there. Or you don't even taste, you know, yeah. you're adding all this stuff, it's really not making you're that not much of a the difference. Crawfish, but, mm. but what's the point of, you know, mm -hmm. having That's crawfish, right. spending the money on it, putting in a sauce and putting all kind of different ingredients that mm -hmm. max the flavor Ruined of the crawfish, it, yeah. what's the point? Yeah. So, the natural flavor come out. Yeah. That's it. Mm. The fewer ingredients, the better. Samantha, remind everybody at home the hours of operations for the jambalaya from the bayou. We are open Monday through Saturday for lunch and a supper um, from 11 to 10. And then on Sundays, we're open from 11 to 2 for lunch. And then we have, like I said, our jam sessions on Friday nights at the, the bar behind Midnight Tavern. Check us out there. And like you said, y'all got a really full menu. We were discussing it earlier. You know, you got different things for the kids, for the adults. It's whatever. I guess float your boat. Yeah, exactly. We have, you know, our specialty pizzas. We have um, one with the sausage and tasso on it. We had a great tasso flavor. You really taste, you know, a lot of the places tasso. they cover that up with all the cheese yeah. and and you don't get that taste. Ours, you really taste everything the in it. Flavor. You know, we, we have one with the shrimp and crawfish on it and, and you, you taste all of those flavors yeah. in there. A lot of places you're, you'll get it and it's it's just covered with the cheese. Yeah, and which you, all you don't You everything. don't taste, you know, anything that's in there. So again, if you want a copy of this recipe that's done here today, just go to our website at kdcg.com. Click on the What's Cooking show and uh, all the recipe archives are there. So you can get that, that and any other recipe done on the show. Or you, you can get, come to the pig. You have to come by the pig and I can turn it off, off my computer if you don't have access to the computer. North. Just please remember the chef's name and the, or at least the restaurant's name because we've got so many recipes on there. and There's so many, yeah. You know, we we want to make sure you get the right recipe that you need. So, the well, sandwich looks pretty thick now. It looks thick now. I think we're ready. Ready to plate it up? Smelling good. It smells delicious. So if you ever have some guests at home, you can try this recipe. This would be yeah. a perfect entertaining uh, dish. You know? I mean, it's not, not really costly that It didn't take us long, but, you know, people might think, you know, you serve this uh, to some customers, some well, friends at home. They We're might think uh, it's really took you a long time to, to do. I like a lot of sauce. Just I like it. in there like that. And I'm going to take my onion tops right here. Just kind of no sprinkle a little garnish on top of there. And we have a macaroni salad that pairs perfect with that, I think. I get this out your way, Samantha? There you go. Now that looks good. <laughs> this has everything but the kitchen sink in it, I'm telling you. We have some spinach, some cherry tomatoes, some mushrooms, I'm carrots. I'm a pasta salad lover. It is just I love phenomenal. Pasta salad. Like I said, it has everything with the kitchen sink. You're gonna have to come back and do that one, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. And now you can also perfect. put some of the uh, the sauce on top of that. You think, or looks um, like it's tossed with something already. Yeah, yeah. It, it has it has a sauce on it. Um, it's a cold salad, mm -hmm. so I wouldn't I wouldn't put. I mean, you yeah. can if you want to. I mean, like I said, the sauce can go with anything. You can put it just with your noodles, mm -hmm. and and have a great pasta dish. Uh, I, I would personally do that with any kind of pasta, um, with spaghetti any pasta. Any seafood, really. Any, yeah. I mean, you can pan fry anything and put on top of it. Like you, I said, you grilled can. chicken breast. That, yeah. That sauce, any, well, cream sauces in general are just so versatile, you can put it on anything. 
Yeah, and I really like the, the flavors of it, you know, the flavor of the crawfish that brings on top of, like you said, any kind of meat, whether it's chicken or the fish, it brings out a good, um, that good seafood flavor. Yeah. Yep, awesome. And remind everybody at home the uh, phone number that you can be reached at. It's 457-7840. And on Friday night, don't forget about the jam session. We have the jam session at Midnight Tavern. Uh, Mr. Cause is there every Friday night. So y'all come check it out. We had the pleasure of meeting Mr. Cause on the last show. Yeah, we sure did. Yeah. And also, if they want like a banquet room, you just, you just said that y'all have that. Yeah, how big do. is your banquet room? Do you know right about how many it sits right off hand? Mm. I'm not really sure on 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 the the size of it. it it's a pretty pretty large size. Okay. Um, whether you having a work party or a birthday party, any kind of gathering, mm -hmm. you know, just give us a you call for call. more information. Right. That's right. And, Fantastic. Um, yeah. Rehearsal dinners. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Rehearsal dinners. I do a lot of that. A lot of that. Yeah. And remind everybody at home. Uh, that if you want to be on the cooking show, just come by or call the station or send me or Jason an email, and we'd website. love to have you on the show and come do some cooking for us and cook for our, our guests at home. Some nice we dishes. We always have a good time. You know, we've had people in the past not not want to uh, be on the show because they're afraid to get on camera and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But I try to explain to everyone, as you probably learned this morning, you know, this is like cooking at the house. That's you know, it's, it. it's just, you know, We've just got like family members around. That's exactly. all it is. We always so. have exactly. fun. She just see what happens when the cameras turn off. <laughs> <laughs> we That's cut up. Go crazy. We do have fun here. We, have, we cut up a little bit. So, uh, again, it's if you fun. want uh, some nice food, go ahead and go down to Eunice and stop at Jamalai from the Bayou and get all the nice home cooking there and great plate lunches and stuff. And um, if you need the ingredients to cook this at home, just come by your local Pickle Bigley stores here in Opelousas. Two of them. H14 Highway 182 North. See, I'm saying it so fast, you know. <laughs> or 1305 Heather Drive. I don't even work there, but I feel like I do. Uh-huh, we're all part of the family. And I probably should. Do yeah. a part-time job. You I can bag groceries. Bad. What would y'all pay for bagging groceries? <laughs> right now it's minimum wage. Have you been well, there for a while? Or you, I mean, you get a raise, so. Yeah, that's okay. But you do good with bagging groceries. Like every three months? Yeah. As long as I get the free t-shirts. Yep, got the free t-shirts. do that. <laughs> Oh, well, again, Samantha, we want to thank you for coming down to the show. And uh, again, we're going to hopefully everybody will go to, to Eunice and start checking y'all out Check and put y'all your place on the map, which I'm sure it's already on the map around that area. Mm. So but good luck to y'all. Welcome back to us anytime you want. Maybe you can come and, like Jason said, do the pasta salad for us. And again, we want to remind everybody at home, thank you for watching the What's Cooking Show and join us next week when we have another special guest coming in. And have a great week. <laughs>